What's up, Mr. Fucking Desert Dime? <laughs> What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video and unfortunately today is a very sad video um, That damn taco Jared has given up the off-road lifestyle today. We are taking off his king shocks and we are throwing on Bill Steen's he's thrown on Bill Steen's because he's he's giving up off-roading He says he said he's done off-roading, you know, just too many problems with the rubbing and things breaking and stuff like the lower control arm video I'm he's, over it. he's fed up with it. So we're just taking everything off, converting it back to stock so we can sell the truck um, and just sell the parts on the side for a little bit extra money. And then he's, uh, what are you getting next, a Honda CRV? Yeah, I want yeah. to a midsize. Mm -hmm. It's still off-road, hit some trails. <laughs> <laughs> we're, just, we're just messing around. No, we are taking everything off today and we are throwing on Bill Seeds, but not because he's... No, we really are taking off the Kings and throwing on Bill scenes, but not because he's given up off-roading. Uh, he's actually going a different route with the truck, upgrading in, in life. So that's something we'll cover in a later video once it's done, maybe roughly two months. But for now, we're converting it back to stock while he waits for those extra goodies to come in. Now, the reason I've been hired to help with this job today is because if you guys saw uh, about a, a little less than a month ago, I completely tore down the front and the rear end of my truck, rebuilt the front end suspension and did a whole rebuild, uh, new shock relocation kit on the rear end. So I just went down this road not too long ago on tearing down the front end. So hopefully my expertise and my, my, my fuck ups essentially will come in handy today and save us a lot of time and a lot of headache. First of which being I didn't crack this top uh, bolt and nut setup before lifting my truck so I couldn't get the socket in. So I learned, and this time we're doing it before we get too far into this. Everything's a learning experience. We learn here, knowledge is key. Who's that, who's that, who's that Lamborghini guy? Knowledge. 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 I woke up and my back already hurt. Like, this like, is oh, gonna be a great here, day. Like, here we go. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is fun, we're having fun. Taking it apart's supposed to be the easy part too. I think it's recorded. Yep. It's gotta fall out. Get off of there. Did you get it off? Ooh. Take my breath away. Why is that song? I don't know. I think there's an advertisement right now going around with that song. It's stuck in my head also. Might, might, might be real. Smiley! Cyrus? What's that? Doing well? Is Miley hot? Miley's a dog. Is Miley hot? <laughs> it's a dog. My question still stays. It's a dog. Did I, I stutter? That. I can try and get that. <laughs> I can't get my arm in, it's easy. There we go. Get up in there. Okay. You ready? Yeah. So like, you think you could put in a good word with Miley or what? <laughs> oh. Who who runs R1 Concept drilled and slotted rotors with camber uppers and 2.5 extended travel king coilovers, dude? Like honestly, who are you? Who do you think you are? Desert Dime. <laughs> This is my bad wrist too. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> Are you getting new brake lines with the Yeah, with the up, kit. With the yeah, new brake lines. Desert Diamond is natural habitat. I need to just prove Emmett wrong, you know, from the last video. It really hurt my feelings that he says I never work on my own truck. He said I that in the last video? Yeah. <laughs> you did the whole thing. I work on other people's trucks. I don't work on my own. I need to break something else so we can get you in action more often. Oh! Fuck! Okay. I just dropped it. Fucking blood right in my knee. Um, hey, so the 5100 you sent me, or you gave me, uh, one size or one side doesn't have the nuts. So we were gonna ask you if you can go to Home Depot and pick up the nuts. So yeah, this one 
coilover itself doesn't have the nuts for the top hat, so That's what you might have to look up. so we're uh, sending our buddy to go grab some on his way over. And everything coming apart right now is a lot easier now that I've done this once over. Like we're moving a lot faster on it, especially because we're just working on our own sides and stuff. But uh, I think I forgot to mention in the beginning, in addition to taking out the King coilovers, we're also taking out his upper control arms, which I haven't done before. And I know that there's a problem with trying to get that bolt out through right here because it runs into a bunch of stuff. So this will definitely be interesting. Another learning experience for me trying to uh, work with upper control arms. It reeks of WD-40 over here. Yeah, over here it does too. I wonder why. Oh, <laughs> uh, You got it, Matt. Is that what I yesterday, <laughs> <laughs> And then we'll get out of the truck. All right, run it back. And then you do it again, there's a little bit to like hide these gaps. You can still see the gaps. You can actually walk and catch up if you're standing right back there. Yeah. Hey Grayson, yeah. can you go and grab this real fast? Grab the reservoir and feed it over that strap. Oh, that's like came out easy? Yeah. All right, my camera died at some point, but I got the whole driver's side out uh, as far as shock goes. Passenger side, we can't get this bottom bolt out, so we can't get the bolt out the, the, the rod end. It's just seized in there super bad, and we tried hammering it, we tried everything, so... Shut up, I'm watching a video. Well, <laughs> you already got the truck apart in the driveway, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this strut out of here a different way. Let's get into it. Now the bolt that I'm having. Let me see if I can move this. Oh fuck! <laughs> see, I get a lot of comments on Instagram videos and pictures and these YouTube videos that some of the stuff I do is stupid. I just want it to be known, I didn't condone this. This was not my plan. Yeah, you did. I did not say to do this. I said just keep hammering the shit out of it. I'm, I'm just working over here. I'm, I'm trying to keep moving on this side and get the reservoir mounts off and this off. So I'm, not, I'm not part of that gang over there. All right, so while they were dicking around with this, <laughs> they tried dremeling it, it's not working. What is Andreas doing when he gets here? Cutting off the, cutting the, the shock mounts. mount from the lower, off of the lower and welding it back on. Okay, <laughs> he's cutting something. So we've got we've. It's Andres. He we've, likes welding and he likes cutting. We've resorted to cutting. I decided to just go about doing the rest of the work while they were messing with this. I got the reservoir mount off the other side and got the whole upper control arm out. It was a lot easier than I thought it was. I think it's actually a pain in the ass to put it in, but taking it out wasn't bad. So now I just need to get this off, and then I think we're. I think we just start reassembling the driver's side while we wait for Andres to get this side off. And Garrett just got here. He's messing with him right now. <laughs> at Home Depot, and then you guys are gonna get food. Hey, don't let him in until he says Fox is better than King. Hey, can you hold this again? <laughs> <laughs> this, side. oh, this side's not as rusty. Wait, hold on. We'll give, we're gonna give Garrett the grand entrance. We're opening the gates. <laughs> Alright, you gotta stop for a second. I gotta get a video. Okay. <laughs> Stay. Don't, like don't move. Yeah, Everybody welcome Garrett. <laughs> oh, I, I can't get the song whenever, I'll just do what I was doing. He needs an intro song. Copyright! Copyright! <laughs> Turn it off! Fuck! <laughs> What's up guys, your favorite Desert Dimes uh, cameraman. cameraman is here. Huh. Let me go over Jared's old suspension. So uh, right here, he's got a rough country lift inch, uh, <laughs> rough country, rough country, uh, rough country spindle with a uh, rough country vertex coilover. It's already unbolted. Love country um, sounds like the broke back mountain version of rough country. <laughs> um, also right here, he's got his uh, what is this? This is a box tubular um, upper lower. 180 control arm from dirt Steam. dirt queen. Yeah from dirt queen. Yeah. Cover the camper sticker <laughs> Yeah, dude. Holy dirt shit. King. This is getting tighter dirt queen. as it comes out It's getting tighter as it this comes out. It's getting tight. Dude all of his all these bolts holding in these mounts are like rusted You guys want to see my next I mod. can't work under these conditions Sorry, I'll get AC. I don't know where this wrench. I just need the wrench and I'm fine. Okay. All right, well we got 
passenger side upper out now. The problem I ran into is there's like a hard line right in the way. This hard line right here you could see, but I mean we were able to just kind of push it out of the way just to get the head through and then just let it snap back into place. So, Dude, this guy's really upgrading in life. 5100s and stock uppers. I'm, I'm low-key sponsoring his build. Yeah, honestly, like, what would he do without you? Exactly. Let's go stalk him. But if the guy responds and says, I think yes, says. I'm down. Oh, yes, yes. You got my dad. Go. Four. I think that's... Wait, he's got a tree house? Grace, get up there. A little tree fort. Get up in there, go. And a rope. There, hold on. Hold on. Put that up there. Dude, this is gonna snap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. I'm in the tree. <laughs> Wait, we should do like one of those sick videos. Don't break this one. It looks like I'm gonna fall off, but like. Oh my god, he's hanging out. Well, that was fun. Let's get back to work. What'd you, what'd you, what'd you bring for this adventure? A fucking sledgehammer. That's all I'll need. You didn't have the right tools. No, but I guarantee that will knock that out. Yeah. I didn't have that. Explain to me. Explain to me your approach. I'm taking off the skid plate so I can beat the piss out of it without beating a skid plate. Take that beach out. Take that beach out. We did get the bolt out, but we just didn't record it, so we're gonna shove it back in. All right, all right, all right, pull it out. Who even are we? Pull it out, like slowly. Andre shows up, slips right out. How is this my fault? Did I help you? Jared, have you tried using a steel mallet, you idiot? No, you know what? I've only used a rubber one. I thought you would have had the right tool for the job. Yeah, I probably do have a metal one, actually. <laughs> all right, so guys, basically, we are uh, finally, like, Picking up some speed here. Getting the stock or the OEM fucking uppers in and the Bill C5100s. Come around to this side. Um, we lost all the 20. I can't do. I can't do anything over here. I found it. We can, we can do stuff again. Let's see what you're working with. Are you trying to tighten these? Oh, dude, this is gonna be annoying. How are we doing over here? Come on! We got the kings over here, cleaned them up as best we could. Then we got the uppers. Just trying to clean up. I'm putting everything together for this new buyer. That's it. Is it worth the 1700 bucks? No. That I'm getting Fuck paid to do this? Uh, no. Um, You're paying me 1700 bucks to do this? No, the, the shocks and the uppers, bro. No, it's not worth 17. At that's absolute most it's worth that's what the market is right now is it worth it is a different story but that's what the market is right now Garrett still doesn't know how to use the fucking bottle jack running uh, going down is it supposed down. to rotate the entire bowl down. And down. Move? Uh, sure so uh, yeah. what we're doing is we're actually uh, Garrett, do you want me to show you how to use that thing properly uh I am using it properly thank, thank you very much so basically you're supposed to get this as what? high as you can first. Not when you tighten no, it. No, no, I was all right. Tight. You twisted it zero inch. Bullshit. I twisted it, it at yeah. least half an inch. We didn't Shut your half an inch. No, just what are you about. talking about, bro? So it's basically, what we just did is. I'm leaving. Basically, <clears throat> what we just did for Jared's truck is we just threw the Bilstein 5100 right height adjustables and we just threw the UCA on. Uh, Desert Dimes, actually the owner of this YouTube channel, he's on the other side working on the passenger side of the vehicle. Right. Um, if you come over here and look. Why is Garrett a better videographer than Dime? Um, right up here, up. this bolt goes through the uh, back of the coil bucket for the UCA. You gotta put the washers uh, on the Yeah, washers on both sides. You um, redo the washers. Yeah, we do have to redo the washers. <laughs> Me, you have to Who, pull who's, whose fault is that? What's up? Whose fault is that? Um, I believe that's Jared's fault. Those washers are on backwards home slice. Whose um, fault is that? That's mine, I know. <laughs> I can't get too many of us in one area, because then... <laughs> Shit just hits the fans and we can't get anything done properly. Desert Dimes over there, but over here we got 
That Dim Taco selling his. Dimes. What are you guys here to pick up? He's got multiple dimes. He's uh, one dime. Some kings, I guess. Some right. kings and a Kimberg upper. That is that right? I'm excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stoked. Yeah, so we got all the bolts there. We have all the uh, all the washers, okay. the, everything for the Uniball. Everything basically you need to install them is there. Okay, I took a little hiatus from recording because I've just been wrenching on the truck by myself uh, for, for, for a cool minute now. Everything is torqued down. The whole front end is buttoned up. We got the stock uh, stock upper control arms, uh, Bilstein's. Uh, he's still keeping his Max Track spindles and I don't know, every, everything's torqued down, everything's ready. All we have to do is throw the wheels back on and we'll get her back on the ground. I don't know, I'm gonna check this side real fast. Why does it look like you're still pulling his shit on the track? These Tacomas don't pull bad travel. Spindle, oh, I was like, what is in the Bilstein? Thanks bro for helping out so much today. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm done from this weekend still. Just put you. All right, Gary, you're good. And we're dropping. I can't wait for that. Five, four, three, two. Oh, yeah. The whole thing just boom. The thing is, like, travel up and down. Dude, it already smacks so hard on my truck. Dude, I don't know. Bro, the amount of times I've dropped this camera. Camera error. Yeah. Oh, no shot, it just broke. All right, so that last clip you just watched was me uh, dropping my camera right on the lens again, and the camera couldn't focus at all. The camera was telling me, oh, we can't even read the lens at all. It would like turn on, throw me a notification to turn off, so I thought it was broken. But I came out today and it was working fine. So um, sorry we couldn't get any like shots of the truck when it was done, but it essentially looks exactly the same because he was on a Max Track spindle, so the height's kind of regulated by that, not by the coilovers. So he's still riding pretty much the same. It looks the same. You saw it drop to the floor. Overall, it was a fun day, fun learning experience, and fun trying to uh, tear, tear down and rebuild the front end again. And I'm so stoked for what he has coming. We actually just got back from filming the beginning of the video where he goes long travels. So uh, make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I will catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.